What's up guys? Uh, I got my uh, excess power uh, Yenlong batteries in today and uh, we're going to do an unboxing video and talk a little bit about these batteries themselves. Uh, I got these from excess power. They are uh, $59.99 a piece for 40 amp hour cells. It's not as cheap as some of the group buys and people that are selling them from China or whatever. Uh, definitely you can get them cheaper from those kinds of people, but you don't get parts from an American company. The shipping was pretty quick. They shipped them out Monday. They got here Wednesday, so that's pretty fast. Um, you don't get a guarantee, you know, from a Chinese company or whatever. And uh, so I, I, I'm happy with it. All right. Well, that's awesome. Check it out. Okay, so I got six of them. I'm going to build a, a 40 amp hour bank. These batteries maximum discharge is 4,000 amps with a steady discharge of 400 amps. 40 amp hours, 2.3 volts. Uh, six, six batteries makes a 13.8 volt cell or bank. Okay. Uh, ordering these from excess power, they're in a much better shape. The studs are in better shape as you can see these are brand new uh, threads are good you get them from China and you know there's a possibility that you might get them used uh, though there are some guys doing a decent group buy where you might actually get decent batteries uh, but they've been rewrapping the cells um, putting you know 30 amp hour batteries and putting a 40 amp hour uh, wrap on it and so I would rather go ahead and pay that little bit extra money guys and and get that guaranteed product uh, That I know is right excess power. I trust Excess power They're the best, you know, they're the best and I know that lots of people like lithium or excuse me limitless lithium and To be honest with you limitless was the best obviously, uh, but they were way overpriced way overpriced This is going to be a 40 amp hour battery. I got three hundred and sixty dollars in the cells I'm gonna make my own straps and by the time I get this bank complete I'm gonna have around four hundred and ten dollars all right let's talk about balancing and battery management system this is the safest battery on the market guys uh, you do not need a BMS or a balancer you do not have to have one you can get by without it however however Depending on the size of the bank that you're going to build and how many banks you're going to build how many, what your total amp hours are uh, Compared to what your total need is yes, you might want to get a balancer Yes, because if you don't get a balancer then what you're going to have to do is the same thing that I'm going to have to do I'm going to show you how this works This is called equalizing the cells, okay? I may have to get my multimeter. Let me go get my multimeter, guys. I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. Okay, I got my multimeter. The first thing you want to do is test all your cells, guys. You want to line them up so that the negatives are all on one end, yes, and that the positives are all on one end, okay? Now, first we want to test them. We get a voltmeter and put it on DC, and I'm not going to be able to do this holding the camera, but we take our leads and we touch each end of the battery. I might be able to do this one-handed. I really rather doubt it. Anyway, we take our leads and we test each end of the battery. All right, uh, the cell says 2.3 volts, so let's see what we get. I might, I might get closer to that. Okay, meters registering 2 2.2 2.2 2.2 2.2 2.2 2.2 2.2 2.2 2.2 2.2 2.2 2.2 2.2 2.2 2.2 2.2 2.2 2.2 2.2 2.2 2.2 2.2 2.2 2.2 2.2 2.2 2.2 2.2 2.2 2.2 2.2 2.2 2.2 2.2 2.2 2.2 2.2 2.2 2.2 2.2 2.2 2.2 2.2 2.2 2.2 2.2 2.2 2.2 2.2 2.2 2.2 2.2 2.2 2.2 2.2 2.2 2.2 2.2 2.2 2.2 2.2 2.2 2.2 2.2 2.2 2.2 2.2 2.2 2.2 2.2 2.2 2.2 2.2 2.2 2.2 2.2 2.2 2.2 2.2 2.2 2.2 2.2 2.2 2.2 
2.19. Some of these cells are way off. This one is 2.07. That cell is way out of balance. All right, with the rest of these cells. So, what we need is for every one of these cells to register the same. Now, this is a chemical battery. Uh, it is impossible to get each one of these cells exactly the same when they make them. It's just, it's just impossible. So when you're going to get them, they're going to have different voltages. So what we need to do to, to equalize the batteries is that we need to wire each cell up in parallel. We need to wire up every single cell in parallel, which is to have all the positives on one side and all the negatives on the other. And we need to let them rest. Okay, and just for the sake of this video, real quickly, I'm going to do something. I'm going to go back with wire and redo this, but for the, for the sake of the demonstration, I'm going to use these wrenches. Yes, okay, so that what we're doing, what I'm doing here, is laying something on here, and that these, this is touching, in theory, every single post, okay, with one another. Now, I'm going to come back with a piece of wire, and I'm going to wire up every one of these cells together on this side, and then on this side. And I'm going to let them sit, okay? I'm going to let them rest, wired in parallel. And what's going to happen is, is the batteries are going to equalize themselves, okay? The cell with the highest amount of power is going to go out to the one with the least amount, until they're all equal. It's called concentration gradient. Everything... in Creation works off concentration gradient. Things work from a high concentration to a low concentration until everything is equal balanced. All right, that's just the way it works. And that's what these battery cells are going to do. So that when I get ready, they're all going to read the same. Okay? Yes. And then I will build my bank with my straps. And then I will charge them together as a bank. All right? Okay. Uh, now, if you're going to charge them individually, you need to have a charger that charges around 2.3 volts yes preferably but less amps and charge them slowly that way you can get a good strong charge in them but you can charge them with higher amps but not higher volts all right but if you wire these batteries up in series and make a bank out of it then you can use a 12 14 even 15 volt charger i personally i have a 12 volt battery charger uh that is a smart charger and it senses the voltage and when it gets to uh, 14 volts it turns over to a 2 amp and just float charges so that's what I'm going to use to charge these once I have these equalized yes okay now heavy use if you only if you barely got enough cells to meet your power needs you're gonna have to bust your pack down and equalize them often regular maintenance if you do not run a balancer that's what you'll have to do balancers are rather cheap guys if you're going to run six cells then you need to get a 6s balancer okay if you got 12 cells then you need a 12s balancer the s stands for cells and that's the type of balancer that you need now you can buy a bms a battery management system yes and the battery management nine times out of ten has a balancer built into it and it'll take care of these things for you and you'll never really have to worry about it you have a monitor it tells you the voltage of each and every cell the charge of each and every cell they're really great but i personally am not sinking a hundred a hundred and some dollars in a piece of tech like that when i could just do it myself you know at least wise not yet maybe sometime in the future i might do that uh, at some point in the future I am certainly going to add another bank right now this is just a 40 amp hour bank I got a 7k system I got 5k on base and I got 21 22k or 2200 rather uh, on mids and highs and so that with my uh, CES 320 amp alternator this will be just enough to meet my needs and so it'll be heavy demand on the cells that means I'll have to equalize them often right okay but if I add another bank to it then I won't have to worry about it but that's future tense just for now this is what we're going to have to do all right guys uh i hope that uh this helps you out a little bit for those of you who may be deciding to build your own uh lithium battery instead of you know buying it for five six hundred dollars yes it's not that hard when i get my straps and nuts uh i'll make another video on how to make how to make uh how to make straps how to put it together there's many different configurations that you can put these cells in just so long as they're in series you can line them up end to end like this you know if you want to do it that way 
You can put them in twos, you can put them in threes, you can put them in six, you can put them however you want, however, whatever you need for it to fit in your car. I haven't exactly figured mine out just yet, but it looks like I'm probably going to have three cells and three cells and put them in my console. And that will save me on wire, but that's neither here nor now. Alright guys, uh, when I get these straps and material in, I will, uh, I'll make a video on how to make these straps. i got a drill press at my shop that I'm going to use, and uh, I'm going to make some straps for this. And once I get my configuration figured out. Alright guys, uh, see you later. Alright guys, for the sake of the demonstration, I went ahead and wired this up. Uh, just to show anybody that might want to do this or have to do this, right? Okay, again... I got all my positive sides together. I've taken a wire and I've wired up every battery post on the positive side. Okay? Yes. I did the same thing on the negative side. I wired them all up. Alright? Now what that's gonna do is it's gonna allow each it's gonna allow these cells to equalize till the resting voltage is the same in every cell. Okay? And that's what you need. Alright, uh, like I said, when I get some straps, some aluminum, get me some aluminum and some nuts, and uh, I'm going to figure out how I'm going to configure them, what shape I'm going to wire them up in, and I'm going to wire them up, and I'll make a video on that. Alright guys, later.